What's up guys, Chasing Lamey here for episode 128 of Welcome to Rocks and today we start a yet another new season in the Premier League, but this time with added European football. In today's episode we're going to be playing Leicester City in our opener and we'll meet the new players in action for the first time. If you didn't see the transfer special on Monday, go watch that. It's, uh, it's a good one. So uh, pause this, go back and watch that, you'll see all the new signings in all their glory. And today you'll see all the new signings on a football pitch. So like, subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll see you on the other side of the intro. So here we are then, yet another new season, yet another kickoff. We are ready for a home tie against Leicester. I've been trying to get them to expand at Rockham Stadium. They keep refusing to do it, so uh, I expect a full house, but we could sell the ground out twice. Uh, in terms of what this season looks like coming up, I'll get rid of all the friendlies that are about to pop up like that. Boom, done. Um, I expect us to go into European action somewhere around here. Into the, we go straight into the group stage of the Europa League. So we'll see how that shakes up. We'll come back in there for the first Europa League game. So all of this we'll catch up with next time. Um, but for now, let's go play Leicester. Let's go meet our new team and see what happens. So today's starting lineup. Then we're going to start with Casper Garda and goal behind Walters, Marcato, Alfie Dorrington making his debut, Jorge Moraes at left back, Zaire Emery starts behind Matias Nunez and Ibrahima Schiller, who has obviously just joined us on loan from Chelsea. Uh, Anthony Gordon on the right wing, Ryan Evans starts on the left wing with his brand new number eleven shirt, and Emre Teshkel is going to start up top, making his debut after joining us from Tottenham. Ben Dodd starts on the bench with Angeloni, Strecker, Youssef, uh, Giardini, one of our new signings, alongside Ben Dodd, who is a re-signing. Uh, Mervyn Burns, Raul Gonzalez, Armin Gamar, and Luciana Brantes make up the rest of the bench. In terms of players missing out today, um, Sanchez just wasn't fully fit. Um, the two goalkeepers obviously have never put a goalkeeper on the bench on purpose. Um, Alan Kolaric, just unlucky to miss out today, quite frankly. Could have made the team, didn't. Uh, Allegre has picked up a small knock in pre-season, which is why he's not starting. Same with Abdoulaye Tiam. Uh, and if we have a look at the rest of the players who are missing, you'll also see that uh, we have Lorenzo Conti out injured. Uh, Miggins, I'm looking for a loan for because I couldn't register him. Same with Maglala. Um, Louis Spate, I've been trying to sell all summer and all wants to buy him. John Arias needs a loan. Uh, Tom Ritchie's picked up an injury. He's going to be out for a little while. He's currently unregistered because you can change the registration during August, and I felt like I'd rather have a full squad. So Yoka Kawa, I'm trying to loan out because Tom Ritchie will take his spot in the squad when we announce that. So, you know, it's, it's going to be a heartbreak for someone, is what I'm saying. So, without any further ado, let's go and play Leicester City. And let's see if we can start the season off with a bang. So here in the dressing room there, we're going to say it's important we make use of our, or make full use of our own advantage. Let's go get a result. Um, seems like Rural Waters cared, which is nice. Let's see if we can get everyone else to care, shall we? Make the difference. Make me proud. I'd like Tesco to get a good start. We're going to go do a tunnel interview for a change. I'm going to get rid of these after this game. I promise this time. First goal is critical. <laughs> Jack, stop asking stupid questions. You confident have a good showing here? We have a strong belief in our ability. You confident in your presentation? Yes. Well done, Jack. You've got three questions wasted, all of them. Right, so, Leicester, 4-2-3-1. Um, Leon King is the only major um, player with a real face left in that team. They've got Emre Gokai, Svedberg, Braybrook, Ramsey and Henderson. I think that's still Dean Henderson. He must be about 97 by now playing. Um, but there we go. That's, our, that's the Leicester first team. Marco Rose on the opposing bench. We're going to get ready to kick this one off. And I feel like we can do something really good today. I genuinely feel like we can get a big win. So we'll see how that goes. We'll start by encouraging the team. I'm going to put the visualizer up here. And uh, we'll hope for the best. Corner, 27 minutes into the game. It's been uninspiring inspiring so far, it's got to be said. Matias Nunez puts the ball into the box. Mercato with a header. And our first title of the season leads to our first goal of the season. That apparently is Andrea Marcato's first ever rocks and goal. He's been with us for like three seasons now. He's finally scored a goal. He's finally ventured across the halfway line. And what a time to do it. Off the post as well. Good stuff by Mercato. Finally becomes a threat in the air. Finally gets off the mark for us. 
and we're 1-0 up. We've got to highlight against us now as Ramsey plays it to Emre. Emre goes across the line to Vasualdo, to Braybrook, to King. King has time, goes all the way back to his keeper, Dean Henderson. Vasualdo now big ball forward, you'd assume. There we go, it was coming. As Emre tries to track it down to the bylo, we need to win this one back. Ramsey back to Emre, to Ramsey. But Braybrook gets tackled by Silla, the Chelsea man on loan. And Evans plays it down the line. Lovely layoff for Tesco, gives him plenty of room to move into. If he can find a good ball here to Marais, he does. Shire Emery, plenty of time. Matias Nunez now. Oh, what the through ball, absolutely wasted. But picked back up, and Anthony Gordon is through. Anthony Gordon makes it 2 0. Beautiful stuff. I thought we'd lost it until Silla won the ball back. And I think maybe he's going to prove to be worth his weight in gold, Silla. See here, Nunez gives it away. Basualdo picks it up the interception. Silla was the first to react, reacted brilliantly, played it off to Gordon, who just got it in off the post, but doesn't matter how it goes in as long as it crosses the line, and we are 2-0 ahead and ready to start our season off with a bang. Let's yell some praise and see how the rest of the game goes. Goal kick with Dean Henderson to Basualdo for Leicester to King. Can we get a third goal here? Braybrook to Ramsey. We're, uh, we're obviously on the back foot from the start of the highlight. That's not a problem because we can prevent that from being an issue. As Svedberg goes back to King, to Braybrook, to Svedberg. One back by Silla again. He's looking good, but they're fighting. And now Svedberg to Braybrook. Over the top, Marcato with the header to win it back in defence. Finds Anthony Gordon, our two goal scorers combining. And Gordon's going on a run here. Lays it back to Walters. Probably a good idea because he was getting closed down a little bit. To Marcato. To Saya Emery, ball four to Tezgall, to Matias Nunez, who plays the worst pass I think I've ever seen a footballer play. Walters wins it back though, but uh, it's, it's a battle in midfield. Svedberg over the top for Pitts. Pitt one on one, I think that must have been offside, surely. Surely that's going to be offside. It looked offside from the start. I am starting to question whether or not uh, Matias Nunez wants to stay on the pitch with passing like he's been showing. Svedberg over the top. That's close. I thought he was offside, but looking at that again. I think he may have been just on. Just on. Well on. You know, fair play to him. That's an incredibly well-timed run. He's done well to put that away, and now we need to step it back up and get ourselves back into the game. Half-time upon us, though, so time to take a breather. Regroup a little bit, just get things back together. We can find another gear to take charge of the match. That's probably a good shout. Uh, let's tell Jorge Marais to please avoid getting booked again because that would be incredibly unhelpful right now. We'll tell everyone else to go make a difference. Actually, I think the midfield have done really well, so we're going to tell them that I'm happy with their playmaking efforts in midfield. Um, I feel like we're not going to yell at him just yet, Tezgal. We're going to just try and encourage him a little bit because I feel like he's going to, he's, you know, like all strikers, he just needs that first goal and the rest will follow. And so we're going to try and encourage him to get that first goal and hope the rest do in fact follow. As Matias Nunez now gets himself a corner, puts it into the box. Mark Carter trying to win it back post. Dorrington gets his head to it this time. And I thought we were going to get both centre-halves on the score sheet. But, you know, there's, there's plenty of time. Plenty of time to go. Marais now with a throw and he's about to come off at the, uh, the next break in play. And that's not going to help him at all. Throwing the ball away quite literally. Henderson out now to Marais. To Matias Nunez, or over the top looking for Silla. Silla gets a chance to run for great performance with a goal. His goal on his debut, his first goal on his debut, and he has had a fantastic performance today. He has been all over Leicester, uh, defensively, offensively. He has been an absolute star. Deserved to win one of the matches even before he scored that. And frankly, that, okay, it was a clumsy goal, but that. Honestly, it should wrap up his Man of the Match rating for us today. Well, I don't even know why I'm trying to look at that for offside. He was well onside. No one was even looking at him. He's put it away. I am going to confirm those tactical changes. And, uh, yeah, that's beautiful. That's well done. And 3-1 up after 63 minutes. Subs are on. Luciana Brantes on up top. We've got Angeloni and Youssef on at fullback. And hopefully that will yield good things. Corner now for Leicester. I was just thinking about taking off Mervyn Burns. I may just do that whilst we're waiting for this to go in. Josip with the cross. Silla heads it away as far as Evans. And uh, into the box. Svedberg has a pop. Garda very much equal to it. We'll pick that up all day. Mervyn Burns is going to enter the field of play now. 
to uh, to replace Ryan Evans, and hopefully that will yield some more chances. Well, we're in injury time now. I feel like we've probably wrapped this game up. A 3-1 win. It's a pretty good start to the season. A bunch of our players looking quite tired, so um, probably overworked them a little bit in pre-season. It's fine. They'll get, they'll get a chance to rest. That's what we need. And uh, say nice work, everyone. That was good. Job well done. And uh, I guess we're now going to go and do a tunnel interview. So uh, you don't want to see that, and I don't care. So we'll uh, we'll just wrap the episode up because why the devil not? We can make it a short one. We're going to come back for the mystery surprise of whoever our first Europa League game is on Friday. Hopefully it's someone really good. It'd be pretty disappointing if we did this end up getting someone from Cyprus or Malta or something, wouldn't it? Um, but even so, we'll we'll come back. We'll play it. We'll see our first foray into Europe, and hopefully, start of good things to come. Anyway, guys, I have been Chasing Lamely. Thank you much for watching. I shall see you all very soon. Until next time, stay safe. Have a good one.